reporting that the former Alabama former Alabama Senator Jeff Sessions is seriously contemplating a run for his old seat. Now, if he wants to join the already crowded field, he's got to qualify with the Alabama Republican Party by next Friday. Tonight, WVTM 13's Jeff, Jeff Lysop takes a look at the impact that Sessions could have in an already hotly contested race. Make America great again. When Jeff Sessions agreed to serve as attorney general under President Trump in 2017, a special election to fill his Senate seat resulted in victory for Democrat Doug Jones. Republicans have been champing at the bit to get that seat back ever since. Jeff Sessions lasted only one year in the Trump administration. Before his brief stint as U.S. Attorney General, Jeff Sessions represented the state of Alabama as its junior senator for 20 years. What would his entry into the race for his old seat mean now? A big change as far as who is considered the front runner right now. Political science professor Marissa Grayson says Sessions packs a one-two punch. He can raise a lot of money and... We know name recognition is not everything. It's not necessarily going to help Roy Moore, for example, but I do think it would help Jeff Sessions. Early polls show former Auburn coach Tommy Tuberville leading in the Republican race. But Grayson says if President Trump and Mr. Sessions can repair their fractured relationship, it could be good for both men. Because even though Trump has talked about him being his biggest mistake as far as recusing himself for the Mueller investigation, Jeff Sessions would vote largely in line with what Trump supports. Jeff Sessions has 10 days to decide whether he wants to return to public life and try to return to the U.S. Senate. In Birmingham, Jeff Eliasoff, WVTM 13.